My name is Rob Bukert. My wife and I own Trist Press. It's a letterpress publishing company, and the purpose of the business is to make books, make beautiful books. Great, thank you. It's a real blessing to be able to work with your wife and enjoy it. So many times we hear people talk about, I couldn't do that, I'd drive him crazy, or she'd drive me crazy, or we'd fight like cats and dogs, and that doesn't, that doesn't really happen here. You'll get lipstick on your face. <laughs> I spend a lot of time, quiet time, in my studio, and I can turn off the radio, and I can turn off the iPod, and I can just think and focus on other things while my hands are, are doing their work. It's just a matter of getting my body to do the things it's supposed to do, and, and I can send my brain off somewhere else. Text, the alphabet, letters are almost holy because you begin to recognize quickly the sounds that are most often used by a particular author, or shapes of words. All of these things create a relationship with a text that you're just not going to get by just reading or just entering text on a keyboard. Books are one of man's supreme achievements. If we lost all of our literature, where would we be as a culture? They're the one real close connection that we have to past people, to past ages. I spend a lot of time creating. And it's interesting that creating isn't really making something from nothing. Creating is organizing. It's bringing things together. It's seeing the virtues in things and bringing them into a harmonious relationship. And I think that must be the way that God works. He has all of this stuff, things, people, each with virtues, each with things inherent about themselves, and he has the ability to bring those things into juxtaposition to something that's good, if those materials let him. My name's Rob Bukert. I make books, and I'm a Mormon. <laughs>